Today's video is documenting a database with a logical model. Today we will be documenting a database with a logical model. We will start with reverse engineering a database, implement some business friendly names to the logical model, and add some additional business terminology markup to the model. So we're going to start with reverse engineering a database. I'm doing my SQL Server database. I'm going to leave everything as is. And here we have a logical and a physical model generated from my Northwind source database. Um, you'll see the physical model and the logical model look identical. What I would like to change is I would like to implement some more business friendly naming conventions on the logical model side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the data dictionary. I'm going to create a naming standards template. I have one created so I'm going to import that here. And then I'm going to go over to the mapping tab so that you can see we have mapped the logical to the physical side. I've got one more that I want to do just to demonstrate how this works. And then I am going to click OK. So now we've got the naming standards template in place. I am going to go back to my logical model. I'm going to right click here and run the naming standards utility. I'm going to select my template. My logical model is the target here. I'm going to select my entity names because that's what I will be changing. I'm going to run the translation and you'll see the output here in the utility window. And as I select OK, it's going to run that utility and implement those changes. And here you'll see a more user-friendly naming convention in the entity names. We're going to also open up an entity here and show you some examples of some documentation of an entity within your logical model. You have the ability to do documentation at the entity level as well as the attribute level. And as this opens up here, we're going to go to the Attributes tab. Again, you'll see the different types of data here. I'm going to edit this ID field. I'm going to select Definition. You'll see that we have installed a business definition for this particular field, indicating that this does relate back to the customer type in another entity. In addition, we have an overall description of this particular entity that this is all customers across the company and products, which makes that customer ID important that it relates back to the type of customer. In addition, we have some security information from our data dictionary that we have implemented and assigned to the entity, and then also a data owner here that you have, we have assigned. So as we select OK and I enlarge this, you will now see that those things will show in the diagram by selecting the diagram and object display options. You have the ability to show the data dictionary items here in the diagram. And that is documenting a database with a logical model. So in review of today's video, we documented a database with a logical model. We reverse engineered an existing database. We implemented a naming standards template to address the logical model entity names and added some additional business terminology markup to the model. If you would like more information, you can go to idera.com slash contact sales.